These new laws now enhance the minimum punishment for those who insult the companions, wives, and family members of Muhammad from 3 years to 10 years, while adding a potential fine of 10 lakh Pakistani rupees, which is a fine equivalent to almost $4,000 US. Thank you everyone for joining us today. For those who have not subscribed, please consider subscribing and help us get the word out on what is happening to the Christians in Pakistan. If you care, please share on your social media. You know with the passage of time, things usually improve. But with these barbaric blasphemy laws of Pakistan, things are actually continuing to get worse for the Christians of Pakistan. The Pakistani National Assembly unanimously passed the Criminal Laws Amendment Act of 2023. They have increased the minimum punishment for those who insult the friends and family of Muhammad from 3 years to 10 years, along with the fine of 1 million Pakistani rupees. The Assembly also made the charge of blasphemy an offence for which bail is not automatic. These changes affect sections 298A of the Pakistani Penal Code. The statement of objectives of the bill read out during the parliamentary sessions were as follows. Disrespecting the companions of Prophet and other personalities not only promoted terrorism and disruption in the country, but also hurt people from all walks of life. During a parliamentary debate about the new amendment, radical Muslim political leader Maulana Abdul Akbar Chitrali of the Jamaat e Islami decried the existing legislation for its feeble powers. He argued, the punishment for insulting a member of parliament is currently five years, but the punishment for insulting sacred companions is three years. This is an insult in itself, he said. May this bill be a cause of our salvation and may Allah grant our rulers the ability to implement the bill in letter and spirit. This is how Pakistani Muslims think, imprison or kill anyone who thinks differently. Does this remind anyone of another evil regime? Zahid Akram Durrani, the deputy speaker, congratulated members of the National Assembly for making a historic decision. Blasphemy laws in Pakistan were first introduced in 1860 by the British to protect Muslims from the majority Hindus during the British Raj. They were enhanced in 1927. At the time, laws were a statutory offence that resulted in a two-year imprisonment and or a small fine. It is pretty sad that Muslims have forgotten their own history as to why these laws were first instituted. After Pakistan and India separated, Pakistan inherited these same laws which were then infamously sharpened under the regime of General Ziaul Haq. He was a military dictator. During his time, these laws were heavily Islamicized and the Ahmadi sect who believe in a prophet after Muhammad were declared as non-Muslims. These blasphemy laws were originally instituted to protect the minority Muslims from the majority Hindu population. Now, the Muslims are using the same blasphemy laws not to protect the minority Christians, but they are using these blasphemy laws to eradicate Christians and Christianity from Pakistan. Many of the blasphemy laws are now non-bailable and carry death or life sentences. Christians suffer severe persecution in Pakistan and strengthening any blasphemy laws are likely to impact the Christians of Pakistan. Only last week, a Christian guava farmer was murdered by three Muslim men whom he tried to stop from stealing and destroying his property. If you all like, please head over to British Asian Christian Association and check out the story. I will leave a link in the description. Recent data from the Center for Social Justice indicates that an anomaly occurred during 2020 where approximately 199 people were charged under blasphemy laws in one year, of which 75% were Muslim, they were mostly Shias, Ahmadis and Sunnis, followed by Christians and Hindus. The Ahmadi still rated higher than Christians, but both percentages have dropped significantly. The writer of this story presumed that a lack of contact with Christians due to a fear they were dirty and more likely to contract COVID-19, which is a known Muslim perception, and a belief that COVID-19 was a punishment for ritually impure minorities, resulted in these lower figures. These figures also reflect the tensions between the Shia and larger majority Sunni sect. The International Court of Justice report states that at least 78 people have been killed in blasphemy-based extrajudicial killings. Within the number are 42 Muslims, 23 Christians, 9 Ahmadis, 2 Hindus, and 2 whose religion could not be ascertained. 
Of the 42 Muslims killed, several were also converts to Christianity. Here we see that a Christian accused of blasphemy is significantly more likely to be killed than prosecuted when compared to all other faiths in Pakistan. Please share this story on your social media to get the word out. Christianity is literally being stamped out in Pakistan case by case. The Muslims are eradicating Christianity by forced conversions, forced marriages, by violence, kidnapping, extorting, threats of murder, and they have also been using Pakistani laws as well, which they have now made even more stringent. I hope the West is seeing what is happening, especially Christians in the UK. What is happening in Pakistan to Christians now is the future of what will happen to the Christians of the United Kingdom. Brothers and sisters, we Christians need to stick together. We need to support each other by showing the same love that Christ showed us all. Please don't forget to pray for your brothers and sisters in Pakistan. May the peace of Christ be with you all. Amen.